Vitsa from Google Cloud. And I'm Abdel. Today, we'll show you how to deploy Gemma 2 with multiple DORA adapters using TGI on Google Kubernetes Engine. That sounds complicated. Can you break it down for us? Sure, let's go over some terms first. Gemma is Google's open large language model, and TGI is an open source text generation inference server from Hugging now, low-rank adaptation, or LoRa, is a fine-tuning technique used to adapt a base model to specific tasks without retraining the entire model. Instead, LoRa introduces small adapter layers that are trained on a targeted dataset while the original base model remains frozen. So why would you want to deploy Gemma 2 with multiple LoRa adapters on GKE? Well, there are a few benefits. In a multi-LoRa deployment, you deploy this single base model and then load multiple LoRa adapters, and you can dynamically select a different adapter for each incoming request. So you don't have to create multiple deployments, which is more cost efficient. That sounds great. How do you actually deploy Gemma 2 with multiple LoRa adapters with TGI DLC on GKE? Um, I was hoping that you would show me that. Sure. Well, it's a multi-step process. First, you need to create a GKE cluster. We already covered this in previous videos. Check the links in the description box. After that, you need to deploy Gemma 2 with multiple adapters using the TGI deep learning container on the cluster. Now, you're right. That doesn't sound complicated at all. Is there anything else people should know? Well, first of all, let's look at some YAML files. First, we have my deployment.yaml file. This file describes our deployments, including the number of replicas, the container images we are using, in this case, TGI, and any environment variables. See this section here? This is where we specify the Gemma 2 model and the LoRa adapter we want to deploy. Next, we have our ingress.yaml. These files define how our deployed container will be exposed to the outside world. It basically creates a load balancer so we can access our Gemma 2 model. Enough, enough YAML files. Let's get this show on the road. Can you show me how to actually send a request to it? Sure. Using curl, you can send a request to the model and specify the adapter layer to use. In this particular case, I am using the SQL adapter. Okay, it looks like you got a response back. But I was hoping you can show me how a developer would use this in the wrap. Of course. Using the Hugging Face Hub SDK, I have to import the inference client, specify the model endpoint, that is the IP address of my load balancer, and invoke the model using the magic coder adapter layer to generate some Rust code. That's amazing. This is, this is Rust code. So you're saying that this is one deployment of a base model, and then TGI selects a different adapter based on the request? That's pretty much it. Awesome. Well, there you have it. We showed you how to deploy a Gemma 2 base model with multiple LoRa adapters. Don't forget to check out the description for links to all the resources we used today, including those YAML files. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.